already know what to do, man. End of the year, man. We trying to get 10K sub, bro. We are 6,900, 800 way to hit this 10K. So please, please, please make sure y'all hit that sub, bro. If y'all watching this channel, bro, please, please, please hit that sub. Further ado, let's get right to the video. I don't really care for the like, the dislikes, the comments. All that I ask for y'all to sub and click that notification to none. You know, that's it. Further do it. If you want all videos, if you if you bored and your favorite YouTuber ain't dropping video, I think this is a great channel to be on because I drop videos every day. Music, sports, basketball, and football. All right, man, let's get it, man. We got 50 Cent and DMX was both bigger than Jay-Z according to the Big Grip. I ain't know what this mean, but like I said, uh... When I re uh I reacted to the 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 Billboard the the fifty one to to eleven, and then the ten to one, bro. Jay Z do not to be, he, bro. Jay Z is not better than none of those old school rappers, bro. So y'all, bro, y'all gotta cut it out, bro. Cut it out. Man, man, y'all got Jay-Z like he got that rap, bro. He's not, the, bro. Bro, I mean, no disrespect. He made music and all, but he's really not all that, bro. I just hate people is keep putting Jay, like, 50 is like, they saying 50 of DMX was hotter than Jay-Z. I'd rather have all of them over Jay-Z any day. I just do not like Jay-Z like that, bro. All right, let's see what they talking about. So Big Gib is saying that 50 Cent and DMX were both bigger than Jay-Z despite the whole GOAT title. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So Big Gib has disputed the notion that Jay-Z is the greatest rapper ever, arguing 50 Cent and DMX are both bigger in their prime. The Goody Mob rapper shared his candid feelings about Hov in an interview. This is what I'm talking about, bro. All right, Kendrick, Kendrick do not deserve to be two. I feel like Biggie, if Biggie and Tupac was in their prime, bro, this would have been a whole different, this would have been a whole, all they need is at least Biggie or Tupac, one of them live, and it would have been a whole different story. But to sit here and to say that Jay-Z is better than Tupac, Jay-Z better than Biggie, Jay-Z better than, Andre 3000. Like, no, bro. This this list is all gen all messed with up. With the art of dialogue, after Jay-Z was ranked number one on Billboard and Vibe's top 50 greatest rappers of all time. Never. Gibbs said that Jay-Z's music simply stopped playing when 50 Cent broke through with Get Rich or Die Trying in 2003 and claimed that 50 Cent, who was ranked number 17 on the list, gets overlooked by New York publications because of his ties to the West Coast. When 50 came out, I ain't hear no Jay-Z music. It just stopped playing. Facts. It's true. This is this is what I'm talking about right here. Bro, nobody in the car and say, you know what? Let me play that Jay-Z. We, we haven't listened to Jay. Bro, the only time we heard Jay-Z was in the car is him and Kanye. Nobody sit here and say, play that Jay-Z. We've been playing Tupac, we've been playing Biggie, we've been playing LL Cool J. If you're a real hip-hop fan, we play 50. DMX definitely was one of those artists get played in the car. But nobody sit here and say, let's play, let, let's, let's let, cut on that Jay-Z. Nobody want to hear that. At least it was him and Kanye. Kanye, him and Kanye, they had their runs together. The pair of uh, Paris and... Paradise or something in Paris or something, they had a run. This man is not lying. By New York Publications because of his ties to the West Coast. When 50 came out, I ain't hear no Jay-Z music. It just stopped playing. Facts. That's true. Come That's on, bro. True. I would there. When 50 came out, he shut everything down. He did. And the reason why they didn't give it to 50, you know why? Cause the West Coast did his music. That's crazy. So they New York has never crowned Fifty Cent because the West Coast did his music. Dr. Dre. 
He then made similar comments about DMX, Back. claiming his emergence in 1998 with It's Dark and Hell is Hot and Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, which made him the first living rapper to drop two number one albums in the same calendar year, eclipsed Jay-Z's own success with Volume 2, Hard Knock Life. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't care what you say. To me, DMX was bigger than Shout all day. Shout I'm with this guy. Hey, I, I'm, I'm completely with this guy all day, bro. This man, bro. Bro, this man, Jay-Z, is not a guy that rap, bro. I'm telling you, bro. He, I ain't know why people think Jay-Z is all that, bro. He's, I mean, he did this thing no God did. I give him that, bro. But after that, bro, no. Clips Jay-Z's own success no. in Volume 2, Hard Knock Life. Like, come on, no. bro. Like, I don't care what you say. To me, DMS was bigger than Shawty all day. Facts. Shawty put out two albums in one year that smoked anything he put out. Facts. And you still said he was the best. Why you think a motherfucker like that get, oh, fuck this industry, man. Fuck this industry. Exactly. Because y'all still want who y'all want to be the best. But the numbers say, DM. That's what I'm saying, the numbers. If y'all want to talk about numbers, bro, man. Tupac and Biggie. Mix is the biggest thing walking around here. And when it wasn't on DMX and it was 50 Cent, you still, it was it was somebody else. But it was the numbers say, 50 Cent. <laughs> so that's why I'm just like, you know what? New York and your bias shit and whoever you're with, Bad. cool. That's who the people want to be the best because that's who they fuck with. Yeah. Now, what the people fuck with is just a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. The movement that the Rough Riders had was totally different than all of the shit that ever came through New York. Right. It was just totally street. Nobody had seen a dude from New York sleep on benches with dogs, roof, roof at the camera, Thanks. ride motorcycles and shit, and then pray on stage and cry. Thanks. DMX was a motherfucking, a true artist. He is. Because he never cared about money. Big Gib even questioned the impact of Jigga's Rockefeller Records, arguing Murder, Inc. was a hotter label during his heyday. When you say a bigger label, I still think Murder, Inc. The A folk, they were bigger than Rockefeller. For real. Hey, and hey, like I said, like I said before, bro, I'm not, I'm not taking none against Jay Z. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking none away from this man. But y'all sit here acting like Jay Z is the better rapper than all them boys. No. Jay-Z is not better rapper than Biggie. He's not better rapper than Tupac. If Tupac and Biggie was alive right now, with this this conversation would be a whole different story. I want to be surprised Nas is number one. I want to be surprised. But y'all got Jay-Z number one, though. Then, then you got Kendrick Lamar, too. And I love Kendrick, but Kendrick don't deserve to be number two. Your label during his heyday. When you say a bigger label... I still think Murder Inc. The A folk, they were bigger than Rockefeller. When you go back and look at them numbers back then, hey, that boy, hey, Jaru was nothing but on the radio. Uh, that girl was nothing but on the radio. Only people that was on, if you go back and look at the Rockefeller roster, it was Benny Siegel them. It wasn't. A shot While Gibb acknowledged Hove's genius and pedigree is one of the best technical and baddest rappers that has ever come from New York, he believes his lack of crossover appeal in other regions makes him unworthy of the GOAT title, and that the only reason he's propped up as the greatest of all time is because of New York bias. Jay-Z ain't never been on the radio here hella crazy. Exactly! That's what I'm saying! Not one! The only time he been on the radio with him and Kanye that, 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 I think it's called In Paradise or something. That's the base about it. But most of his songs never been on the radio. Never. At least he got Beyonce with him. Makes him unworthy of the GOAT title. And that the only reason he's propped up as the greatest I cannot time think now. One song Jay-Z been on the radio. Jay-Z ain't never been on the radio here hella crazy. Facts. But Kanye. No. Big records. His big records, but all the records that people probably heard in New York, they never heard them records down here. Same gonna go about out west. 
Fast. They probably heard the big records with Beyonce. Hey, hey, Be hey, that's what I just said, bro. That's it. That's it. But radio wise, but we never hear just Jay Z on the radio. The records, but all the records that people probably heard in New York, they never heard them records down here. Same gonna go about out west. They probably heard the big records with Beyonce, big pimping. But if you go back, they never heard a lot of shit that, that people love J4 in New York. Fast. As for who he believes is the greatest rapper of all time, Big Gift gave the crown to Tupac. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Even though I don't even listen to Tupac, even though I'm young, but I really, pre I already think Tupac and Biggie supposed to be number one. And at the end of the day, to me, Tupac number one. Yes. I don't care what nobody say. Fact. Nobody did what that man did. That man had more albums in depth than most people had living. Mm, that's a bar. So at the end of the day, that man had a transitional time of coming out a revolutionary rapper, turning into a movie star, a certified movie star, then coming back and dropping Me Against the World, and then coming back and dropping the double album. Man, come on, man. Go on. Half the people y'all say number one, took songs from him to make them popular after he was gone. Facts. Facts. So at the end of the day, look, man. Look, man. When half your raps were another man raps, then, hey, man, it's great that you could take it and use it, but at the same time, it's like you got to look at Biggie Pop and all that. Exactly. At the top five because they set the standards. Exactly. You got two dead superstars that you can sit back and listen to their music. Look at hey, what they. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, now I'm listening to Tupac and Big and, and Biggie. And I'm been listening to Biggie. I, I listen to Biggie more than Tupac. But Tupac is like, you know what I'm saying, hey, bro. People still right to this day listen to Tupac and Biggie. Biggie Pop. No and all that to is the top five because they set the standards. You got two dead superstars that you can sit back and listen to their music, look at what they doing, how they doing it to formulate your own. Facts. But what do you think about what Big Gip had to say about No, nah, bro, he's speaking facts, bro. He's speaking facts, bro, because I'm about tired of this Jay-Z, bro. I ain't going to lie, bro. I know Jay-Z went crazy on God did, but ever since then, they really crowned this man for the... The number one, though? Nah, bro. Jay-Z is not. Jay-Z is not, bro. If anything, bro, like I said, bro, Nas should be number one, bro, in anything. I'd rather have Nas number one than Jay-Z, bro. Jay-Z is not that guy, bro. I just, bro, that, that, y'all got to cut that out. Y'all, y'all got to cut that out, bro. Y'all acting like Jay-Z a god at rap, bro. Like, he, he the masterpiece at, at this rap, bro. He's not that, bro. Trust me, he's not that. The numbers don't lie, bro. Eminem, hey, if you want to go by numbers, bro, uh, uh, hey, my, most of my favorite, hey, two of my favorite rappers is out, out do Jay Z any day, bro. Stop playing, bro. Jay Z is not. They, they, bro, that's got to be capped, bro. I'm out.